Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use a timeline view in your Airtable. So the first thing you want to do is when you're going to be in Airtable, I will click views and the bottom left create and then you're going to find timeline. Click on here plus. You're going to have an option to choose a name and if it's going to be collaborative or personal and then create a new view. In the moment when you're going to have a new view, you need to have a date field. So I don't have any date field yet, so we are going to create it together. It's going to be, let's say, a due date and create a field. And then send an end date field so I can even create a new one, which is going to be the finish date. I can equal time, display time zone, create a field, next. And then you can also group records. I'm going to show you how to do that. Customize labels. Choose the fields you want to see on each of the records on the timeline. Let's say I want to see everything. Done. So right now we can't see anything here. But what you can do is when you're going to be in all projects. And I'm going to add. A, like let's say this would be a start date. Then we have it like this and then this I can simply go to timeline and voila so here I will go for today and you can easily group it by status right so that's something you can do which is pretty perfect and you're gonna follow in all projects that I have here I'm going for right here so this is the start and this is the end so I'm going to have exactly these dates. Now, if I'm going to move them even to, let's say, I don't know, here, and I go to all projects, it's going to automatically change. So in the moment when you're going to edit your timeline, it will automize and it will change. You have option to switch between today, week, two weeks, even a month. So it's like easy to recognize and understand. Now you can also sort it by. by let's say a project so that's something you can do you can change easily the color if it's going to be the backlog or in progress complete and now of course you can change like the grouping by now i have the color based on status but let's say i'm going to have also for the priority right so let's say that i would go to all projects here plus and i'm going to have a single select no. Single select and this is going to be called priority. And here I have single select. OK, add option, which is going to be the high priority. Then I can have medium. And low. Create a field. Now when you have it and I go, let's say I'm going to choose this one is going to be high. This one is going to be medium and this one is going to be medium. And I go to the timeline and what you can easily do is when you're going to click on the color, you can easily change the coloring records the same as priority. And now you see the colors changed here. What you can do also is not only that, you can go to sort by, let's say I'm going to or like group by a priority and I can change the colors to status. So you see that, okay, we have the, like, I'm going to change it. So I'm going to have status and this is going to be priority. So I see that, let's say this would be an backlog. And I see that this is the high priority on my timeline. So I can easily take it and move it here in progress. In the moment when you're going to edit it in your timeline, in all projects, it's going to change too. So that's also really important to understand. Now we can have a row height. Oh, that's something you can edit. And then also you can see the records. There are, if you're going to have the like record list, list here, you can always close down the in progress backlog. And the more tasks that I'm going to create here, look at this, I can even add a task here. So when I would 
click here and choose and create like like hold mouse one so for these days i'm going to add a project which is going to be called marketing discussion and you can easily change the start date the finish date in a moment when i would change the finish date to 25 i can also change the status uh, notes and priority so i can easily click done and uh, now i can easily add a priority which can be a medium or a low and that's pretty much it how you do it so thank you very much guys for watching this is pretty much it how you can use the timeline view in our table i hope you guys have a great day and see ya and goodbye if you can have any questions ask me down in the comments